Yep. Okay, so who got the gold? Massive fall yesterday with the indices as well. Huge fall. Yeah. So this pretty much this pretty much broke all the support levels here. Now we're still on a weekly support on the PST. All right. So the market, you know, still has the potential to move out. But I think until the elections, I wouldn't muck around with it. Yeah. Because this volatility is because of the elections. So there's probably going to be some kind of, you know, may, it might come down a little bit more. We don't know. Okay. So the, our best bet, we know it's going to go up later on. But the best bet is just to just to wait it out until the elections are over, because this is quite volatile now. Yeah. And this is quite unexpected. Yeah. Quite unexpected. It's sort of strange that all the indices and gold went the same direction. Exactly, exactly. So, so we don't know what's going on. <laughs> so when we don't know what's going on, we just leave it alone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So gold we're putting aside. Let's take a look at SP 500. All right, so all the indices, we're expecting them to come down anyway. So this, there's no surprise here. Um, I'm thinking this will probably pick up a little bit, but there's still room to come down, okay? I think until the elections, we've got, you know, room to come down. Any, you know, any pull up should just be sold, I reckon. So wherever we can, this will be the first sell spot, that's for sure. Okay, so the market just comes to the daily pivot, just continue the downtrend, because um, we've got room to come down. You can see it both on the PST and here. Let's take a look at the weekly. Uh, on the weekly, we're right at the support, so no wonder it stopped there. Okay, right on the PST support, that's 50.54. PST is quite good. Um, when it gets there, it'll at least stop for a while. So that's 3,291. Yeah, 3, yeah. What's the lowest it did? 3,268, okay. <clears throat> so when it's this low right on the PST, I wouldn't go about selling it, right? Because it's a support level. So last thing we want to do is selling on the support, but... Mm just need to you know just need to be mindful now because it's just pretty much at the bottom of the channel here so the channel here we're right at the bottom there the pst is at the support so i wouldn't sell it today basically okay up to now we had room it's pretty much at support so let's not do any selling right at the support if it lifts its head up which it probably will do bring it up to a good buy kiss or somewhere up to here was at 39.48, 3,337, 3,337, yeah, it's slightly higher around here. So if they're gonna sell it, they might sell it around here, not here, okay. So let's take a look at the Aussie 200. And we didn't say it's much the same. Yeah, they're all pretty much just straightforward down. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, that's coming down to the targets as well, pretty much the targets, the blue dotted lines. So let's take a look at the weekly. Okay, here we go. Yeah, straight fall. Got some more room to come down. Um, this one you could still sell because there's room to come down. Let's take, check out the monthly. Yeah, this is nice. So where to sell this one? Well, this would be the first spot, but they've already done it. It's still doable. I wouldn't go in heavy. I wouldn't go in heavy, but there's room to come down. No, just a bit more room to keep pushing down. So this trade worked yeah. out quite nicely. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah, follow at the end of that 580. Yeah, so that's right. That's right, it's got room to come down nicely. So, 5850s looks like a good target. So, this could still come down. This will be like, you know, the daily pivot is, is a good spot to sell still. So, you just you know, follow it down nicely. Let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. That probably crashed as well yesterday. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this is also right on the line. What would we do with this one? I'd still be careful on the elections because this is the channel bottom. Let's get rid of this. Okay. This is still the channel bottom. So you'd be selling in this range or in this range if it does go up again. Yeah. Okay. Wait, it's more of a pullback. Yeah. So if it goes back up again, it's worth the sell. If it breaks down, you can sell it on the good bikers again as well. Yeah. So both ways are fine. Just be mindful of the elections because it's going to get pretty volatile, looks like. Okay. Other than that, though, things are just trending, trending nicely. Um, except gold. Gold we've got to be mindful about. And don't go yeah. too heavy with the lots. If you're going to trade these smaller lots, um, yeah, and, and decent money management because it just might go either way. Yeah, I think <clears throat> gold still could pull back to that 1850 yet, couldn't it? I think yeah. on the day it's the next. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty dodgy. Yeah. So, got to be mindful on that. Just got to wait it out, actually. Let's just see what's going to happen. And then, you know, we'll fix it accordingly. Yeah, I guess, yeah, it's just one of those things where you just got to be prepared to wait and know that there'll be better opportunities later. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. I guess you've got the opportunity to make quick money, but then um, you also got money, <laughs> opportunity to lose quick money. Exactly, exactly. So let's just wait for this uh, and see how things go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's do this here. All right, because it's pretty dangerous zone here. We're right in the middle of the chat, in between, you know, places. So it can just go either way. All right, so. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, it could go back to that, basically a double bottom there. Or exactly, exactly. So we could go all the way 18, down. 1851. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see how that works out. Probably they'll wait probably for the elections. Until the elections, it might be pretty volatile. Yeah. Um, and I imagine a couple of days after. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right then, mate. Righto. Righto, thanks for that. And we'll, no worries. Um, we'll keep an eye on things.